We got back from a trip from Florida late last night. We were visiting my brother and his family, and then Noel had a gymnastics meet there. We also did some sightseeing, and I was able to accomplish part of one of my goals, which was to visit more farms. So we went to a Yupik citrus orchard, and they had peaches there and other things as well, but the citrus is what's in season in February. So we were able to pick some grapefruits and Valencia oranges and then the tan tangelos. tangelos. So it was super fun to do that. This morning we are doing some errands. We need to go to the NRCS to get some paper signed. We are getting a grant for another high tunnel. BG Foods, Bissell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, geez. That's different than I thought. I I thought they would give you the money first, but they yeah they reimburse you after. Reimburse you, yeah. And then after that, we are going to the store to get some cinder blocks to build our seed starting area inside of our current high tunnel. That's all we need of those. We got 40 cinder blocks down here. We only need 32 is what we figured out, but cinder blocks break really easily. And we've got to get these home and get them into place. So we're adding a couple extra just in case anything happens. And these will be used as the base of our seed starting tables. While we were at the building store, we asked them if we could buy some of their pallets because they had a whole ton of them all lined up on the side of the store. But they said they don't sell those, they send them back to the supplier and then they get credit for them. A nice builder overheard us in the, in the checkout line and he said he had some at a job site that he had just finished nearby. And so we're gonna go pick those up right now. these two by fours I don't really want to do it that way I'll do like one here on the end okay and one here and then just secure those in with some screws yeah or we can do it here imagine this is flipped the other way you can have it like this so the cinder block is is holding it from there or do it like this so this is kind of like a face frame type thing and then this is just right there so it's a little more stronger when they're on the end because it has it has this two oh, by four yeah. to like help support it too. Well, we should do that then. And distribute the weight. Go in here and do one, do one on this side, yep. just to even it out. Like there, like a forty-five. Here, grab this and let's lift it up. Let's just align it. Let's just set it like right here so we know roughly where we need to place these. Let's go back. So we'll flip it. Let's pull that out and pull that one out a little bit. You gotta go about right there, anyways. Because this needs to hold two. Oh, okay, gotcha. This is already better. Okay. You like that? I like that, yeah. Okay, cool. That's good. 
some extenders that basically put your your bit like out this far and that's what I need to get down in there but. that like it flexes but that shouldn't be enough that it kills you at worst case we get some more cinder blocks and just put them under here too yeah the only time it's gonna be an issue is if I'm like when I'm making saw blocks I am pressing like pretty hard like setting it setting it there's not the problem oh it's pressing like yeah like because you press to make the block well then so I, I probably just need like one see. spot with extra spinner blocks and say like this is my yeah, we place where I make them. Well, we got we got a couple extra, so yeah. Like yeah, you can just yeah, and I guess we could always get more if we need more in the middle. Oh, just pulling some more. So we got one table done we're doing this all the way down and then on the other side but we're taking a lunch break right now yeah. and then lunch we'll come and back then we'll consistent and like because nice. it's either you have you have varying thicknesses or you have the slats that are running the wrong way we only need one more though and then for the other side 
Let's do 48 wide. That's cool. Okay, yeah, 48 wide. Really? They're not coming close because they know if Bez is on. You're curious, buddy. Here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So then I get my end on. You can just yeah push it my way like an inch. Okay, that's good. Wow! Look at all this space I have. <laughs> this is so cool. Look at my space, and I'm gonna have a whole bunch on the other side. <laughs> You're happy. One happy camper. seen this idea for the seed starting tables at a friend's farm and I was excited to replicate it at his farm he did one cinder block horizontal and one vertical and that actually saves you from using so many cinder blocks yeah but as we were doing this we decided that it was not going to be good for us because we have a baby right now that is pulling up on everything and it just seemed kind of unstable yeah, so we're gonna change it to basically three cinder blocks high yes. instead of one horizontal and because by flipping that vertical one, that save that saves you from one. So we're gonna add that one. So it's gonna be three high. And we'll probably still reinforce that so that that leg acts as one unit and yeah. it's connected to the tabletop so that there's just no way it can be pushed over. 
I wouldn't want it to fall over with the trays on it either. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it would. We like talked about this multiple times. Like it seems sturdy enough, but I don't want to take that risk. Yeah. So just gonna be sure. We we're, we're gonna get more cinder blocks. They're not that expensive. We were trying to save a little money, but we'll just get some more and finish it off. Actually, yeah. We still have those eight more we'll out eight there. Extra. So yeah. we just need eight eight additional. The cinder blocks made it home on the trailer just fine. We didn't have any broken ones. Yeah, yeah. So that was good. One of the issues that we ran into as we were going along with this is that pallets are made to all different sizes. So it is so difficult to have like this one long span of pallets that's all the same size, width, length, all of that stuff uh, yeah. was difficult to get to work. So we have one side that is 40 inches wide. Deep. 40 inches deep. 40 inches deep. And then each of the pallets is 48, with the exception of one that was only 40 long. Yeah, yeah. But that part didn't doesn't matter because yeah. we were connecting them with these little joist things that Cam came up with. <laughs> yeah. This is sometimes the, the pallets vary in thickness. Yeah. Most most standard ones are four and a half inches, all put together four in, four and a half inches thick. But some of ours we had were five and five and a quarter it's just we had we had some left over from our construction of our house some yeah. that we got today yeah. at another construction site from that <laughs> from guy. The guy and then Dean. some that we picked up that we purchased from a feed store yeah if you buy them all from one if you get them all from one place they should be the same size <laughs> That's, yeah. In theory, yeah. yes. A lot of explanation for something simple. <laughs> yeah. I think it'll be good because I have one 40 inch deep side, one 48. Now I have a little bit more space than if they were just both the smaller size. I have plenty of room in here still to bring a wheelbarrow through or anything else, so. A tractor. A tractor can come through oh. here. It's gonna have a hard time <laughs> turning around Oh, the BCS could, not, not our big one. Bring like a semi through here almost. <laughs> still, it's about wide enough. Yeah. <laughs> no. We just wrapped up, sun's going down, perfect timing. With everybody's help, we were able to finish this seed starting area. Now I have tons of room and I need Cam to make me some more soil lock trays and then I'll be able to fill all of this up with our seedlings for this coming season. Yay, more soil block trays. <laughs>